All right, guys, the entrance to the game room is behind the door. Hope you guys enjoy it, man. Let's go ahead and let's get in, man. So this is my game room. This is where all the magic happens. All, a lot of time spent in this room, I'll tell you that. Uh, you know we always gotta have the office on in the background, bro. That's, that's the best show ever. My man Michael Scott right here, bro. My favorite character in the office. Now, we're gonna talk about my PC. My gaming setup, everything, so don't even worry about it. This is my gaming chair, bro. It's it's nothing. It's an old chair. I've had this chair since I was 14, bro. I've had this chair for 10 years. And I've always used it. I don't got one of them fancy, expensive chairs, but this is just... This is my gaming chair, bro. Of course, we got to have the two championships frame, bro. I'm a big Eagles, big Cavaliers fan. So you know we got the, the magazines, the Sports Illustrated from the championships frame, as well as the banners up here, bro. We got two regulars and two championship banners. We got the LeBron jersey to throw back. You already know what it is. Carson Wentz, the GOAT's up here. Right now, the PS4 is broke. So we're going to have to uh, wait to send that into Sony to get that hooked up. Got the Kyrie Irving Wheaties box. Hold up, hold up. It's also Uncle Drew on the other side. <laughs> and you know we, we stay we stay lit with the winch jersey, man. I'm ready for football season for sure. Get the champ's hat. Jake, say what up to everybody. That's my dog Jake. He's a Corgi. But let's get into what we got here. So here we got the monitor. The main monitor I use for gaming. This is the game I watch. This is a screen I watch while gaming. It's a Samsung 27 inch curved monitor. Um, everything in this video, I'm gonna drop links for in the description with model numbers. So if you want the exact same thing, you can get the exact same thing. Um, the, the monitor cost about 160 when I got it. I'm not sure if price has changed, but I believe it was on sale. I think regular 180, so $20 difference from when I got it, but still, I mean, it, it does real good. I, I love the monitor. And then, since the monitor don't come with its own speakers, we have the Logitech. Uh, I think they're just PC speakers. They're, they're not. It's not fancy. They they get the job done. Uh, I never really use them mainly because I'm always wearing headset. But so if you get this, if you get this monitor, you're gonna have to buy a set of speakers because they don't come with speakers on it. And up here, I got my. It's a it's a 32 inch uh, Vizio Smart TV. It's not needed at all. I got a real good deal on it. I don't even know how much they are new. I bought it from a friend for 20 bucks. And I just use it to have stuff like this on in the background. The Office, uh, Parks and Rec, or streams, other streamers. It's it's a multi-use TV, bro. I can do anything I want on it, really. At the time of this video, we're at 884 subscribers. So if you guys see this, bro, hit the subscribe button. Help a guy out. We're getting close to 1K, man, so we're chasing it. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the PC. I know you guys are wondering about specs, so let's just get right into the specs here. It's a Lenovo Idea Center. Um, the processor is a Intel Core, I think it's a quad core processor i5, which is the minimum requirements for the Elgato, which is the game capturing device, as many of you probably already know. Um, the PC, it does really well for me. 
I had an i3 before this and I used the Elgato on it, which I could still record videos, but using the stream command features on the Elgato, it kind of slowed the computer down. So this computer does well. Now, what I will say about this PC, if you're running Elgato, now if you have Elgato on and you're not recording, it's fine. But if you have Elgato running and you're recording a video, it's going to slow your computer down a lot because the Elgato requires so much of the power on it that you need probably if you want to be able to multitask, you're going to need like an i7 or an i9. So if an i5 is something that you don't want, if you want to multitask, uh, I'll tell you, if you export a video on this, you will not be able to do nothing else on the PC. It's going to be so slow to do it and it's just not going to be worth putting all the pressure on your PC. So if you ex if you export, you just gotta let it export and do its thing. But for me, it works really well. I use Photoshop. Everything works fine if you're using it separately. Multitasking, probably not the right PC for you. But other than that, I mean, the PC r runs pretty well for me. Now this is a budget build, so that's why it's a budget computer. The PC cost me about 650. Um, it was on sale for, it was on sale for 650. Original price I think was 850, or maybe 800. Um, along, just like the just like the Samsung monitor, this HP monitor that I bought does not come with speakers, so you're gonna have to buy your own speakers to hook up to this PC. That way you can hear sounds. <laughs> There's a lot of the apps that I run on it, Photoshop, the Elgato, um, my video editing program, internet, which is Google Chrome. Everything seems to run real well on it. I really like the PC. It's definitely better than the i3 I had. All right, the main part of this setup is behind the monitor, the Elgato HD60S, which is what helped me capture the gameplay. As you can see on your screen, this is the Elgato program. This is how I capture all my gameplay and stuff like that. You can add your face cam. What's up, guys? I guess you can't really see. Let me do this. What's up? Now y'all can see me, bro. Uh -huh. That's how you capture gameplay. Whatever's on your Xbox screen will be put onto this screen, pretty much. Um, the Elgato runs you about 200 bucks, and it's one of the best ones you can get. So I really like that one. So you're def you'll definitely need the Elgato to, to be able to record your gameplay the way you want. And last, we'll talk about the mic I used. It's it's a Samsung Go mic, not Samsung. Not that. It's a Samsung. Can't even find it. Okay, there's. <laughs> uh, the mic does all right. I think I do want to purchase another mic at some point. This this is more for like portable use, maybe for like podcasts and stuff like that. But the mic does all right for me so far. This stand actually came with my webcam, but my webcam is right here underneath my monitor, which is a Logitech. Uh, it's full HD 1080p. It's a decent webcam. I mean, I don't really use it much, but I do. I can't. I don't know how to explain that. But I mean, everything everything seems to work pretty fine and run well on it. So I'll say for everything in this setup, the two monitors, the PC. The Elgato, the main things you're going to need, it's going to cost you around $1,200. And I'd say that's for a decent gaming setup. Now, you got big streamers. You know they have them $20,000 setups. And that's just crazy to think. Because right here, for just $1,200, I got a pretty good setup to where I can record videos in full 1080p, 60 frames per second. I can add face cams. I can stream. I can do a lot of things. Now... They do need those big PCs because they run a lot of apps at the same time. Me, I don't run that many apps at the same time. So this build, this PC, this streaming build, it works for me. It really does. So hopefully you guys like this video, man. Uh, almost almost to a thousand subs. So if you see this, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help a guy out. Uh, we're giving away a copy of NBA 2K20. So if you guys are interested in that, go find the video on my page and follow the steps to enter, man. Um, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you on the next one, man. Let's get it.